Hello and welcome to ICANN Media. We are coming to you from beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. We are just outside of Canada, a place where a huge conference is going on called Globe 2014. I'm your host, Rob Hislop, and over the next couple of days, we're going to be heading into the conference, taking in some of the many sessions and talking to some of the keynote speakers. Some of the topics discussed, changing energy landscapes and responsible resource management. Now, there are over 250 plus speakers, world leaders in their industry, talking here over the next three days. 50 plus countries are represented and there are over 300 exhibitors at the trade show. We are going to give you a taste of what Globe 2014 has in store. Now from Globe 2014 in Vancouver, British Columbia, I'd like to introduce you to somebody who's come clear across the country to be here. Ted Lomond, you're here from uh, Newfoundland, Labrador. Uh, that's right. Tell us about the group you're with. Um, uh, my organization, the Newfoundland Labrador Environmental Industry Association, is leading a mission from Atlantic Canada uh, to GLOBE. So we have with us, we have three firms um, in, in the areas of wetlands, engineering, sensor technology, and LED lighting systems. And we have three educational institutions and some government officials. And, uh, and so why, why would this be an important event for you to come to? I think this is a, GLOBE is a, attracts uh, people from all over the world. It's a way of opening up new markets and identifying new partners. What, uh, what is it that you feel like you're going to be taking from here? Are you looking for technologies or ideas to take back with you, or are you trying to, I mean, you've got a wonderful booth here, are you trying to tell people about the good things that are happening in Newfoundland Labrador? Well, it, it very very much varies by the participant. I think in, in, in the, some cases we're looking for markets, and I think we've, based on what we've done here, I think we've already done some business in the last couple of days that was really worth people's trip. In other cases, we're looking for partners. We uh, One of our firms made a presentation down at the powerhouse section uh, yesterday, and they said right up front, we we don't need money, we have lots of money, we need partners. And, uh, well, now, you're from a province that, we're from Edmonton, and so we of course have the oil there, you have the oil industry there. Tell us a little bit about the industry in your province. Well, the industry in the province is growing. We're producing around, uh, I think it's 280,000 barrels a day right now. We've got over 7,000 people directly involved. We've got uh, three producing uh, uh, um, fields at the moment and some other ones coming on, um, online. We've got uh, some new finds which are in uh, some deeper water which are going to pose some challenges. But I think it's, uh, it's something that we're up to and we're looking forward to it. Who are the major play players in your part of the country? Well, I would think they're probably pretty similar right across the full country. So we would have Suncor, we would have Husky, we would have um, uh, ExxonMobil, and of course Statoil in terms of the more recent uh, finds in the, in the Flemish Pass. Now, in our province, we're worried about zero spill on the land and trying to maintain uh, it as clean as possible. What are the concerns that you've got since your oil is, is in the ocean? Well, no doubt, you're, you're operating in a harsh environment, and any time you're operating in a harsh environment, there are going to be additional challenges. That being said, uh, I don't think there's been any, um, there has not certainly been a lax approach to spills. Any spill is, uh, is reported publicly. We have a Canada Newfoundland Labrador Offshore Petroleum Board that regulates the industry. So I think we adhere to pretty high standards. And I think in meeting those standards, it actually creates opportunities, because being able to operate in an environment means that our firms can operate in any environment. It's do you draw? Can you draw comparisons between there and Alberta in the oil sands? I would it would be very hard pressed to, um, to to comment on the Alberta industry because I, I really don't know. But I can say that when you op any time that you have a helicopter for uh, you know people for over half an hour to get them to a location uh, offshore, it uh, poses some additional challenges. You know. Great. So. Great. Um, where do you see the industry going in in your province? I think what we're going to see is we're going to see uh, continued growth. We're going to see cont more exploration. I think the uh, province has just introduced a new uh, uh, tenure program, which is going to in increase the amount of exploration offshore. I think we're going to see, uh, as our industries are gaining confidence, they're getting more and more experience, you're going to see them move into more aspects of the industry. I think we're seeing a lot more location of firms from all over the world are coming to St. John's and setting up shop. Uh, corporate responsibility, sustainability, these are a, a couple of the catchphrases that we're hearing a lot of here. Do you find that the industry is, I guess, is it changing fast enough for the people of Newfoundland when it comes to gaining the social license and and being a, a responsible corporate citizen for today's world, not compared to how it might have been years ago? I think, I think the issue of social license is not exclusive to the oil and gas industry. It's something we deal with every major project. It comes up in hard rock mining. It comes up in more, more recently in our Muskrat Falls hydroelectrical uh, project. 
uh, we as an industry association deliver uh, training and practitioner focused sessions on things like Aboriginal consultation, best practices, and environmental assessment. Uh, the firms, in, uh, companies like Suncor, for example, will be heavily engaged in, in our events and they've uh, demonstrated themselves to be good corporate citizens. And I think most people uh, in the province would feel that way and they have an excellent rep uh, rep uh, reputation and uh, relationships with the educational institutions. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. Okay.